All right, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, it's Archie Lala, and we're back with another episode of Pokemon Misty Dungeon Explorers of Sky. Now, FYI, it's literally been, like, since basically I started the channel that I've recorded, like, an episode of this. And that's because when I did start the channel, I recorded, like, all those six of those episodes straight through. And I think you'll probably tell by, like, how this video sounds. I, I feel like you can literally tell, like, <laughs> if you look at, like, my first video... And as I progress throughout this channel, like, you're just gonna see the difference in the audio, like, honestly. Like, the content's not gonna change, it's just gonna be the audio. But, I digress. Anyway, so, it's been a minute since I've uploaded this, so I have no idea what's going on. But what I do know, is that this is Chapter 4, The Gatekeepers. So, let's head right into it. So, we're gonna save and continue, even though nothing really happened. Alright, so I did change the top. You know, this thing right here. As per advice from my boy, Wu. He was like, that, that's much better to look at than just the controls. Especially seeing as how those controls don't really apply to me anyway. So that's nice to look at. And three. Smiles go for miles. Okay, Pokemon. Time to get to work. Hooray! Hey, you two! We need your help with something today. Yo, who is he yelling at? Shout out, you gonna allow him to yell at me? Diglett, I brought him! Thank you, Lodred. You two are doing sentry duty today. Sorry, I'm usually the one to do sentry duty, but today my dad gave me his duty of updating the boards. That's why I can't man my post. It would be great if someone could take over my sentry duty for today, and that's why you're here. Please do a good job for me. Bye! Alright, so you're gonna let newbies do it? And that's that! Huh? I didn't follow that at all. How did we get involved in this? That's what I'm saying. Shut your yap! Yo, who is... Who are you talking to like that, son? No more belly aching. Go do your duty. Ow, my head hurts. My mans, I will... Loudred acting like I won't force palm him, bro. Like, I'm a fight type. You're a normal type. Watch who you speaking to. What are we expected to do anyway? Climb down this hole and stand guard. You're on sentry duty. Sentry duty? You heard right, sentry duty. We can't have suspicious characters coming into the guild, so we stationed a sentry below the guild entrance to evaluate Pokemon visitors. When you first came, you had your footprint evaluated, right? My footprint? What do you... Pokemon detected, Pokemon detected. Whose footprint, whose footprint? The footprint is Vulpix's, the footprint is Vulpix's. What? Oh, now I remember, there was that weird hole in front of the gate. My mans, you pass by that hole every time we walk in and out of the guild. I stood on the grating, then someone shouted up at me. It was startling. Okay, so we should climb down this hole, and then what? The tunnel down there leads to the sentry post. Ah, nice diagram. Diglett burrows through it, and pops out underneath the sentry post. From the sentry post, Diglett inspects the footprints of visitors, identifies them, then informs me. Then I decided the Pokemon suspicious or not and open the gate if he passes muster. What do you mean? Okay, 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 okay. And this is what I was talking about before. So, he says he decides if the Pokemon is suspicious or not based on a footprint? See, my thing is, is a footprint only defines your species, right? So, let's say, I don't know, it just doesn't make sense, because you can be a certain species, but be a good or bad Pokemon. Your footprint, your species, does not define whether you're good or bad. So, how does detecting the footprint determine if he's suspicious? Also, why is Loudridge in charge of this kind of responsibility, seeing as how he's an, also an apprentice? Yeah, he's superior to us, but at the end of the day, he's still an apprentice. So, as to why he has this authority... Like, is beyond me. It should be someone with much greater authority. Someone who's not an apprentice. Someone who's official. Like, maybe a Chatter, even though he is also attending to stuff. But, you know, maybe they should have someone official. Like I said, I don't know. I don't know. There's mad problems with this. Anyway. So, we serve the, as the guild's gatekeepers. Oh, wow. Roll the credits. That's the gist of it. Look, all you two have to do is inspect the footprints of visitors, then tell me what Pokemon they are. Alright, understood? 
I got it. Good. Then let's get to work. Buck up and do a good job. I've never looked at footprints a day in my life. Yo, it's pitch black in here, Lala. You know, you really like these pe these Pokemon really like saying stuff like yo. Like who talks like that? Yo, like what? Anyway. Oop, I just clicked that by accident. We'll have to fight, feel our way. Hold up, in that diagram they sh that they showed, there was definitely some light going on. So, like, where's our light? Well, we should be getting close to the sentry post. Oh, there it is. I see light, Lala. How's it going? Have you taken position at the sentry post? Yep, we're here. Good. Pokemon visitors will step onto the grill above the sentry post. Identify them by footprint, then inform me. Got that? Yep, we got it. Good, let's get started. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, how am I supposed to know what that is? Is that a lombre? No, it's not. Oh my god. <laughs> We're already doing bad. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. That has to be Hippowdon. What? Oh my gosh, I'm Okay. Uh Spinda. Yeah, yeah. What what is this? <laughs> what is this? Okay, that's definitely Empoleon. If that's not Empoleon, I'm ending this video. Finally, I got something right. Oh, my God. Um. Slack on? Dang, they give hits at the bottom. <laughs> oh, my gosh, bro. You can't just say it looks, it look, moves slowly and then not be a slack off. <laughs> Bro, why is this so hard? Okay, curling up. That's Donphan. Jesus Christ. Sorry to keep you waiting. Viviana and Lala, that'll do it. Now get back here. We were literally there for like a minute. You've done an honest day's work. Let me review your sentry duty performance. Your results were dreadful. You failed so many times. You slackers, did you do anything besides goof off? Ugh. You two got so many wrong. I even got in trouble for it. Yo, my mans, you're not going to be talking to me like that, son, because I've never done this job before. You can't expect me to be good at it. Yo, what the hell, man? Hush. Don't you dare blame anyone else. Sentry duty is a cooperative job, isn't it? Anyway, this job was a fiasco, no doubt about it. As such, there shall be no reward. What? Furthermore, you'll go without dinner tonight. But, but... Bro, they made that so difficult, bro. I don't know Pokemon footprints. Am I going to have to study this for this? Like, no. That's crazy. This is slavery, bro. I'm going without dinner. You guys don't even pay me. I work here. Yo, Loudridge, I will really... Bro, I will rock you, son. Okay? Like, don't look at me like that, bro. I will really rock you, son. Bro, I can't wait until I get to fight this clown, bro. I'm really rocking him first, bro. I'm stuffed. That was delicious. Oof, I'm so full and sleepy. We're all off to bed then. Good night. Good night. Yo, get out of here, son. Can you let it go, please? Thank you. We're going to bed, too. Yes, you have the right to be angry with us, but... Bro, get out of here, bro. I'll really rock this man, bro. Up and at him. It's morning. Ah, uh, good morning, Lala. Yeah, that, that was really bad. Like, <laughs> I don't even know, like, what to say about that. Like, 
bro, like, I don't know. I've, I've just never done it before. Like, <laughs> I don't know what you guys want me to do. But, um, I guess that could be a good way to end it. Um, episode seven, I show that I am terrible at identifying footprints because, you know, that's just not something I do. So, um, yeah, in the next episode, we'll actually do something towards the story. You know, something that isn't messed up. Something that doesn't involve I, um, judging people by the, the shape of their footprint. You know, all the other messed up stuff that goes on in this Pokemon world. You know, the Pokemon world is not a nice place. That's, that's what I'm learning from this game, okay? This is not a nice world. Okay? We get paid 10% of the profit. We judge Pokemon by their footprint. Like, what's going on out here? My footprint, bro? My footprint, bro? Like, bro, my footprint? Alright, anyway, I will see you guys later.